Hello, and welcome to another iteration of me typing stuff into a virtual space and reading it, whilst also ranting in senile old Manning and talking about one of my favorite things ever. Giant metal stompy boys. Except, just for today, maybe, we will be addressing something not directly related to my giant metal and more possibly related to the pathetic and simpish existence a lot of male homo sapiens experience in between their mech warrioring when they just need to scratch the itch in between their two mobility limbs and do a lot of looking and not much hooking, which again I consider very pathetic. I mean, how hard is it to just get laid, y'all? Seriously. If my old ashtray can pick up some 304 at the local score for the poor establishment, and yes, every single tail there is a 304, with or without the shadow. My truck is big enough, and I always park down the street. Never fails. So what is your excuse, you weak, no score having, dead on the next drop, can't catch anything with mitts the size of a mech bay, or even get into the mech bay anyway, because the only piloting you are doing into anything is into the rubber stretchy you will then drop on your floor and start crying about how pathetic and lonely you are. Then complain to me how you are pathetic, and I will remind you that yes, you are pathetic. Anyway. Q intro. Okay, so, Canopian Cat Girls. Warning, extreme degeneracy inbound. So, <clears throat> before we get into the main attracting factor for the reactor for most of you, let's start by going over a little bit of the can a puss before going full canopian circus jerkus for you pathetic meat grabbers and draw from the anals of the most luscious lower leggings of the goddess of ear prawn sarna.net and gaze deeply upon her voluptuous mounds of reading shall we The Magistry of Canopus is an interstellar nation located in the periphery. The Magistry is a matriarchal society led by a magistrix, an elected position open to any woman but largely controlled by House Centrella due to the family's popularity. I wonder why that is. Disparaged by some for promoting a hedonistic lifestyle, Again, I wonder why that is. The Magistry supports an open society. <laughs> open. And personal freedom of all citizens. And their right to live their lives as they see fit. As such, it is a popular destination for those fleeing persecution or looking to satisfy their... <clears throat> I quote discerning tastes again i wonder why house centrella is so popular anyway let's continue 
After its founding, the magistracy allowed only women to participate in the government or hold any elected office. That, that kind of goes with matriarchy, but all right. This restriction eased under Floral Centrella. Huh, Floral. Who allowed men to participate in local and later planetary governments. Cristalla Centrella began to allow men into the lower level positions of the national government in 2570. And within a few years also opened up positions on the lower courts to male judges. It wasn't until after the Reunification War when military governor Humphreys instituted universal suffrage and opened all political and judicial positions to men, barring the magistrix. After the governorship ended, these reforms were maintained by future Canopian governments, ensuring equality for both men and women before the law. However, there has remained a strong cultural bias in favor of women holding positions of authority within Canopian society. Hmm. I mean, quite honestly, why would any man want to be in power when he could pretend like women have all the power and he could just enjoy the fruits of what it is they usually are most desired for. I, I, I mean, it just makes sense. Anyway, continuing. The head of the magistracy is the magistrix. Oh my lord, that's a freaking mouthful. An elected autocrat who serves until death or until they're deemed unfit to rule. It is a position technically open to any Canopian women but has largely been filled by members of House Centrilla. Again, I wonder why. Originally imbued with the sweeping powers, the position lost much of its authority during the period of military governorship after the Reunification War. Most of these powers returned after self-rule was reinstated, but a number of important checks on this power was also created. <laughs> checks. Hmm. While freedom of expression is at the heart of the Canopian institution. <laughs> oh, oh man, we all know what that means. <clears throat> there exist some notable exceptions. Political parties, special interests, and lobbying groups are expressly banned for their divisive nature. Uh, I mean, what, why not? No, seriously, why not? Additionally, there exists a strong wall of separation between church and state, for obvious reasons, with no official connection allowed between the government and any one religious or philosophical doctrine. The Canopian economy can be seen as a cautionary tale in terms of overspecialization. <laughs> we all know what they specialized in, but let's continue. During the golden years of the Star League, when the magistracy was a mecca for tourism from all across known space, the Canopians deliberately poured their resources into expanding their already large entertainment industry. Indeed, at one point, the pleasure trade, oh man, that, that I did not know, consti consisted <clears throat> and constituted over four-fifths of the entire economy. However, in 2722, the Star League stopped supplying the magistracy with financial aid meant to help it recover from the reunification war. This was shortly followed with Directive 38, which slapped a 10% tariff on all periphery goods sold to the inner sphere states, and Directive 41, which removed the BSLA from regulating business Dealings between the inner sphere and periphery states. Almost overnight, entire industries folded up as their products became too expensive to sell or were taken advantage of by unscrupulous and predatory business practices. The onset of the succession wars dealt a further hammer blow as the flow of rich tourists were quickly replaced with waves of refugees and pirates. By the turn of the 31st century, the Canopian economy was one largely dominated by artisan guilds. <laughs> artisan. 
and cottage industry. The major exceptions to this was the entertainment industry. Because, of course, I mean, yes, duh. Yes, matriarchy. <clears throat> Though a shadow of its former self, Hap the Magistry remain a destination for creative types and the biomedical industry oh great i see exactly where this is going which since its founding has been one of the highest national priorities for the magistracy often receiving more funding than the military <laughs> i'm sorry i got i got a laugh. <laughs> matriarchy <clears throat> often receiving more funding than the military obviously though unable to reproduce some of its lost tech wonders like stasis tubes even at its lowest point healthcare in the magistracy in many respects exceeded that found in any other state periphery or inner sphere I wonder where the motivation for that comes from. This allowed the magistracy to help simulate the economy by supplying healthcare specialists to other states in exchange for goods and services. The creation of the Trinity Alliance has provided an economic boom to the Canopian economy, which export revenues to its new Torian and Capellan trading partners, having tripled by 3067. Though entertainment, tourism, and biomedical continue to dominate the economy, again, we all know why, has greatly diversified into new areas, such as agriculture and mining, with a large number of new startups, particularly among the industrial complex for the military. Whereas just a few decades before, they teetered on the brink of bankruptcy. Many pleasure circuses. <laughs> Again, I, I have to... <laughs> oh, man. And I believe there's actually books about this. Anyway. <clears throat> or parts of books. Or part... Yes. Stuff. <clears throat> Many pleasure circuses now travel freely through Capellan space. Bringing with them a taste of the Canopian lifestyle. And bringing in much needed revenue. For reference, <coughs> you can look up A Time of War, Companion, page 53, Mutation Trade Example Table, 6th Entry, Functional Tale and Mobile Ears, pages 188 through 189 as well, a canonical illustration depicting Canopian performers including a biomechanical mermaid and cat girl. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Just, I mean, seriously. That's the, yes. Yes. And also, no. Let's, let's move on. Now, to quote someone who quite possibly had the absolute best and possibly the most compelling uh, things to say when it came to how this would all go down. Now, I do not know if they were a medical professional, a technological professional, or something in between, and I don't much care. Here is what they had to say. When asked... If it was something that was true when talking about Canopian cat girls, here is what they said. Quote, Frankly, it's a couple scalp prosthetics that surgically attach via lightweight medical myomers to the existing muscle structure around the ear. Add in some hair transplant surgery and you're done. Instant flickable ears that with training and fine myomer control could even express various subtle emotions. For tails, that might be a bit more functionally difficult just due to length and mass versus connecting surface. But again, 
A proper segmented core anchored off the Cossex with a basic Myomer controller attached to the lower back muscles should handle it. Of course, you'll have to alter your entire wardrobe for that or just wear skirts, but hey. They then followed on by saying, quote, Actually, making the ears work as sensory organs on a biological level is effectively impossible. You'd have to open the skull and extract part of the primary motor cortex to allow room for a proper ear canal. Not quite such a good idea. If you don't mind going mildly cybernetic, then simple level adjusting microphones buried in the inner ear fur which doubles as a noise-canceling material, could run to a cochlear implant. Uh, just the imagination behind that. Anyway, to augment your own hearing. Think of it as a robust hearing aid in your new cat ears. <coughs> so there you go, folks. Apparently, it is actually very possible. And again, the answer is yes. Simply yes. Canopian cat girls exist. So that being said, let's, uh, yeah, I, I, I really just want to be done with this. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, there you have it, folks. There you have it. Canopy and Gat Girls are something in Battletech, and Fanon or Cannon does not seem to matter, just like it does not matter if it is possible or not, as reality is seemingly what you make it. I actually... Oh, man. <coughs> Excuse me. I actually struggled. For once. Doing research for this video should have been as simple as any recon before a mission, and yet I had to wade through the thick, bosomy crap that the internet is mostly made of and that I did not wish to see, but we all must do things we do not like. And I may hate some of you for making a video like this a necessity, but here we are you hedonistic degenerates who equate artistic freedom of expression with debauchery and disgusting imaginations of filth and smut. I mean, some of the stuff I have seen in researching this video, I, I don't, I do not wish upon any, I, I oh, just no, just no, never, no thank you, never, ever again. I, I prefer, yeah, I just, oh, oh. I may have thrown up. <clears throat> you are all truly without any chance of redemption, and I have nothing but contempt for your organic existence, you animals. So, there we go. Canopian cat girls. They exist, they're a thing, they're real, and they are, uh, yeah, just, yes. <coughs> <coughs> but still, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next failed attempt at information dissemination. I didn't even mean to, for that, yeah, whatever, let's keep going. Hopefully before my HPG bills are declared overdue. So until next time, this is Badger Actual, 
out. Honestly, though, I, I really, I really have to say this. Doesn't the magistry of Canopus symbol look like a failed magical girl's, like, I, I don't know, rejected wand piece or something? Is it just me or, or, or does, I don't know. It seriously looks like, yeah, 